In the year 2022, the Airports Council International made an exciting announcement, crowding Dubai International Airport as the world's leading airport once again. Boasting the highest number of international passengers, more than a staggering 66.1 million. This remarkable feat, coupled with the ever-increasing demand for air travel, has presented a dilemma for Dubai. On one hand, this airport generates billions of dollars in revenue annually, making Dubai a global landmark and a sought-after destination for both tourism and business. On the other hand, it faces limitations, despite its magnificent design, efficiency, and immense size. Naturally, a solution was imperative. Dubai needed a second, even better and bigger airport. Fortunately, the solution was already available. Enter Dubai World Trade Center, which was already operational, mainly serving as a hub for air freight cargo with a few hundred thousand passengers each year. However, there was one significant challenge. The airport featured only one runway. This limitation spurred the revival of an ambitious old project, aiming to transform DWC into the world's largest and most sophisticated airport at a colossal cost of $35 billion. Today, let's explore in detail how Dubai plans to achieve this remarkable transformation. Dubai World Trade Center, also known as DWC is Dubai's second largest airport. Its construction began in 2006 and it officially opened for cargo operations in 2010, followed by passenger operations in 2030. Nevertheless, a substantial portion of the 35,000 acre airport remained undeveloped. Originally scheduled for completion by 2027, delays pushed the date to 2030, then the pandemic struck, bringing the world to a halt. However, recently Dubai announced that the project is back on track with even bigger ambitions. DWC is strategically located in Jabli Ali, approximately 37 kilometers southwest of Dubai city center. It formed the core of a massive development project back in 2006, encompassing residential, commercial, and logistics complexes within the Jabli Ali area. The region comprises six zones. Dubai Logistics City, Commercial City, Residential City, Aviation City, and Gulf City. The total area is twice the size of Hong Kong Island. What's fascinating is that the entire airport functioned as an operational single free economic zone, designed to integrate various transport modes, logistics, and value added services, including manufacturing and assembly. Every year, it handles millions of tons of cargo and with the ongoing expansion, its passenger capacity will increase to a staggering 260 million. To accomplish this grand vision, Dubai Aviation Engineering Project takes the lead. DAP is the organization responsible for a master planning, design, infrastructure development, and construction of Dubai's dynamic aviation sector, including DWC Airport. It oversees all major contractors, including the American giant lane construction who will operate based on approved engineering plans and designs. The concept employed for the DWC Airport City is one of the simple integration and perfect synergy. The Dubai Metro has been extended to reach the new airport, offering speedier and hassle-free transportation for originating and departing passengers. Additionally, passengers forwarded from Dubai International Airport to DWC for the connecting flights will no longer have to use a mix of metro and bus services. As the project unfolds, the airport's total area will steadily grow, reaching a massive 141 square kilometers with nearly 20 million square meters of built-up area. The number of runaways will increase to five with 400 contact gates spread across four concourses. The construction process will be gradual and carefully managed to avoid interfering with ongoing operations, accommodating growing number of passengers, which increases by as many as 20 million per year. The new airport will be nothing short of a living city, featuring hotels, shops, entertainment centers, spas, conference centers, and amenities catering to every need and taste. In the first phase of the strategic plan, the airport will be open to more airlines, boasting a capacity of 130 million passengers per year, with two runways, one concourse, and the West Terminal building completed. Existing North Support facilities will complement operations, and a new 6,000 lot car park 
and a metro station will ensure efficient transportation options for passengers and employees. Phase 2 will see the addition of two more concourses, south support facilities and a second control tower, enabling the airport to increase its annual capacity by an additional 20 million passengers. This phase will have a combined built-up area of 5.4 million square meters. Finally, the third and final phase would involve the addition of two more concourses, bringing the total to four, two more runways, totaling five, and the expansion of the north support facilities to flank the entire platform. This phase will have a combined built-up area of 10.5 million square meters. The new terminals and concourses will rely entirely on clean energy sources such as photovoltaic solar panels, large battery facilities, and wind turbines. All buildings will be high-performance, insulated, and enveloped by solar glazing to control energy inputs with a vision to achieve zero emissions eventually. The airport aims to reduce water consumption by about 70% with the help of efficient appliances, grey water treatment plants, and rainwater collection systems. The entire infrastructure is designed with passengers in mind, ensuring an unparalleled experience. Automated boats will assist in dropping baggage, at the curbside, trackable systems will predict baggage collection times and thoughtful configurations will enable intuitive pay finding. The way World Trade Central Airport will be more than just an airport. It will be a futuristic, green and sustainable city, boasting economic, tourism, commercial and industrial depth. It will serve as a gateway, connecting all corners of the planet through its advanced and reliable central access and transit point. But the transformation doesn't stop there. The airport's cargo facility will be equally impressive. A massive 8 square kilometer cargo area will be built to the south, supported by quick cargo transfer facilities to ensure efficiency and accuracy. Warehouses, assembly facilities, and even factories will be added or upgraded within this trade center area, eventually capable of handling up to 6 million tons of cargo per year. Furthermore, a 5 square kilometer state of the art maintenance facilities and airport support infrastructure area will provide all the necessary facilities to maintain and operate the airport to peak efficiency. Several luxury brand name hotels and resorts, including 5 star accommodations, will be built within the airport boundaries to cater to customer needs. A nearby world class golf course will also provide an added perk for visitors and employees alike. I mean, wow. Dubai World Trade Center Airport, once transformed, will not merely be an airport, it will be a spectacle and attraction in itself. Its sheer size and endless amenities will ensure that visitors and passengers may need days to fully explore its offerings. So, I guess I'm gonna take long layovers on Dubai Central Airport. As we peer into the future, it's evident that Dubai World Trade Center is a groundbreaking vision an embodiment of Dubai's ambition to lead the world in aviation excellence and sustainability. From the latest technological advancements to green initiatives, this airport will stand as a testament to human ingenuity and the limitless possibilities of aviation in the 21st century. As we eagerly await the realization of the extraordinary project, one thing is certain, Dubai World Central Airport will undoubtedly redefine the aviation industry and set new standards for airports worldwide. A city within a city. It will not only connect the world, but it will also inspire and leave a lasting legacy as a symbol of progress and human achievement. As always, Dubai in the first line. If you liked our video and you want to see such more content, please give us a like, subscribe, and comment your reviews on the Dubai Central Airport below. Thank you.